Hi, I'm Mr. Ash from Codespeak Labs, and I'm going to be showing you how to create a time capsule in Scratch. First, let's change the title of our project. And then let's choose a background for our story. Let's click Choose a Backdrop and choose where you want your story to begin. I'm going to choose Bedroom 1. Now, let's delete Sprite 1. Click the trash can, and then let's choose a sprite to tell our story. Click choose a sprite, and choose a sprite to tell your story. I'm going to go to people, and then I'll choose from the characters. You'll see that this sprite has many costumes. I'll click costumes up here, and then I'll look through the costumes until I find the one that I want to tell my story. I'm going to use this costume, character 1F, and then I'll go back to the code section. So I'll click code at the top, and I'll be able to code my character. Inside this sprite, I'm going to add the beginning of my story. First, I'm going to grab from the events section a when green flag clicked block. Then, I'm going to make sure I'm starting with this backdrop here. In our time capsule, we're going to be changing backgrounds, so we'll need to make sure we start on the same one every time. So in the Looks section, I'm going to use the block that says Switch Backdrop to, and I'll make sure that this bedroom is selected. This one is called Bedroom 1. And now I have my character introduce the time capsule. I'll use the Say Hello for 2 Seconds block and change the text to say, Hi, I am a student in 2020. What this block does is that it has our character say, Hi, I am a student in 2020 for 2 seconds. And after 2 seconds is up, we'll continue our code. To continue the story, I'm going to add another Say for 2 Seconds block. For this one, I'm going to change the text to say why we're creating this time capsule. Our story is going to tell how our lives changed after COVID-19. We'll be using the writing prompts from the Google Form, so keep those answers handy. To tell our story, we're going to use broadcast blocks. We'll find those inside the events section, and we'll find the block that says broadcast message one. These blocks allow our sprites to talk to each other. First, we're going to click message one and then create a new message. We'll call this one feel. Click OK. And then our sprite will broadcast feel after it says these two lines. After it broadcasts the message feel, we want another sprite to receive that message so it can react. We're going to add in a second sprite that will react to the feel message. But first, let's continue our story. Go back to the look section. Grab another say hello for two seconds. Use your answer to the most days I feel prompt and enter it here. Make sure you pause the video if you need more time to type. For my time capsule, I'm going to say, most days, I feel excited to see my classmates and teacher in my online classes. And since this is a longer sentence, I'm going to change this number to four seconds. So you have more time to read what it says. I'll grab another say hello for two seconds and continue my story. In my story, I'm going to say, even though we're all staying home, I'm glad I can still see everyone on my computer screen. And I'll change this to four seconds as well. Now, let's go back to when we broadcasted that feel message. When our character broadcasts feel, we want another sprite to react to it. So I'll choose a sprite that describes when I'm in my online classes. So I'll click choose a sprite. And I'm going to find the laptop. Choose a sprite that matches your story. 
Once you choose your sprite, move your character and your sprite on the screen so you can see both of them at the same time. And inside of your laptop, make sure you click your sprite so that we're coding inside of your second sprite and not in your character. We're going to have it receive our message. So if we go to the events section and grab when I receive feel, this block allows us to run code only after we receive the feel message. So when we receive the feel message, we want to change the background and have this sprite appear on screen. First, let's have our sprite hide. So let's grab when green flag clicked, go to the look section, scroll down, and find the hide block, and attach that under when green flag clicked. Since we don't want our laptop to show up until we receive the feel message, we're going to hide it at the beginning of our time capsule. Then, when we receive feel, we want our sprite to show. So we'll grab the show block from the look section. And then we'll switch the backdrop. To add another backdrop to our time capsule, we'll click stage over here. And then we'll click backdrops at the top. This will bring us to all of the backdrops we can use in our time capsule. To add more backdrops, click choose a backdrop right here. And then choose a backdrop you want to switch to after your first feel broadcasted message. Now you'll see that room one is added to the list of backdrops we can use. So let's click code to go back to the code. And make sure we click our item that's going to appear on screen. For me, it's the laptop. And after my laptop shows up, I want the backdrop to change. In the look section, I'm going to grab the code that says switch backdrop to, and make sure I choose the second backdrop. For me, it's room one. So now if we test our code, if we click the green flag, we'll start in our first backdrop, see our code run, and then once we broadcast the feel message, we'll come to this backdrop, our second sprite will appear, and then our code continues to run.